Minecraft structures are pretty sweet. The new caves, maybe even cooler. How's it going, Elite? It's me, your boy. Today we have an experiment. Structures, they're in Minecraft. What if we were to say, take the structures, every single one of them, and try and put them inside of one of the Minecraft caves, like the really big ones? Can we do it? Today we're gonna find out. Ah, yes, the question nobody asks, but now everybody wonders. Remember to like, subscribe, notification bell. Enjoy the experiment. Okay, so there are a couple ways that we could go about this. We could try and fit all of the structures into different caves, or e even cooler, I think. We could try and fit everything into one cave. However, if we do this, this means we need a gigantic cave. I've been flying around for a little while, trying out different worlds. I think this is the candidate, right here. This is a gigantic cave. There's so much room inside of this cave. Like, there's no denying, this cave is big. This is one of the biggest caves that I've ever seen, to be honest, it's gigantic. We could stack structures in here easily, tons of room for like the really, really big structures. Uh, I, I think it's perfect. And look, there's already a geode right there. I don't know if that counts as a structure, but we're gonna count it. And if we have to, this cave continues over here we have this like high up balcony maybe we put things up here looking down at this gigantic area and then like over here too it goes this way and then it curves and it keeps going this way we can take out these supports right there fit even more structures but honestly i honestly i think we could probably fit like everything in this area right here inside of the game files we have these structure files right here these are going to be most of the structures in the entire game actually doesn't look like a lot but there's a lot for example nether fossils there's a bunch of fossils to make this video actually enjoyable, we're not going to take literally every single fossil. I don't know which fossil is which, we're gonna pick a random number and drop it in. Same thing, pretty much for a lot of these other structures. Two more rules, structures can float, that's fine, I feel like that's the only way we're gonna do it, and if the structure takes out like a little bit of rock, like a little bit of this hill, or maybe like some of that pillar, that's fine too, it doesn't matter that much, so long as the structures are like mostly in the cave and we don't remove too much, it works. Structure blocks, how do these things work again? So, I know there's a couple different modes, we have load mode, we have, okay this is load mode, then we have corner mode we have save mode i think we only need load mode for today and then structure name this is where those file bits come in i feel like there's only one spot that we can barely start we were just talking about nether fossils so it has to be the nether fossil let's pick a random fossil maybe i don't know i don't know i'm feeling fossil number three let's see if that's a good one okay it's gonna be that big that's a little small let's see if we can find a bigger one fossil number 13 how about you oh you're bigger you're bigger okay that is valid so what we're gonna do is grab that put that on the ground i think that's a good spot for it and then load it in Fossil number 13. Very unimpressive. However, that's gonna do it for the nether fossils, easy enough. There's only one move that makes sense next. We did the nether fossil, we have to do the overworld fossil. Overworld fossils are insanely rare. Honestly, I don't think I've ever even found one in survival, and they have cool names. Skull number one, I mean, that's pretty sweet. So, uh, I think if we hit load, it's not gonna drop in, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's gonna refresh it. Okay, okay, that's good. We don't want the structures overlapping, that's cool. Perfect placement, load it in. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Why are fossils so rare? That is awesome. That's a literal skull of like a whale or something. Or Mumbo Jumbo? All right, well, I've seen the comments for Mumbo. However, we don't have time. There are so many structures. We need to move on. Next, we're gonna do the igloo. I feel like we should do the smallest structures first, then work up to the big ones, maybe. <laughs> maybe it makes more sense to do it the other way. Either way, though, igloo right here. Now, uh, that's the fossil zone. I wanna take this igloo and move it. Let's see. Maybe we could fit it in between these pillars right here. I feel like that would be a good spot for an igloo, right? Yeah, that looks like a good spot for an igloo. Is this the igloo still? All right, well, here goes nothing. Igloo top. This is the igloo without the room below it, which is fine. That's valid. So far, so good. However, I feel like this is a perfect spot for a bigger structure. The watchtower. This is the perfect spot for the watchtower. However, it's a little too close to the fossil. So let's move it back like maybe two blocks for sure. Give that some space. All right. Oh, perfect, perfect, sweet. A uh, little mildly concerned, though, because we have some gigantic structures, and it's already taking up that much space. Hmm, maybe we could stack some. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a full right-side-up shipwreck outside of water. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. No, 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 no. We have to turn it. Maybe, like, this way? No, 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 no. It would probably be, like, no, this way. No, this way, that's what I'm talking about. We want the shipwreck to go that way, long ways behind the outpost. That will fit things in here pretty smartly. Let's go ahead and load it. The shipwreck, oh, it's oak and spruce, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I've never seen one of these. I didn't even know this bit was on the shipwreck. That's kind of crazy. That looks good, there's no mass though. Big rip. Speaking of water, let's do an underwater ruin. I don't wanna be too cheaty and take like a small one, so we'll just go with whatever one this is. Hopefully water's not everywhere. Aye, sand fell everywhere. 
Uh, oh, there's big warm. There's big warm. There's big warm. Okay, let's do big warm seven. Let's see what that is. Load. Oh, that's big. That's big for sure. All right, well, not a problem. We'll put it right there. Big warm. That's big warm. It took a little bit of that pillar out. Not a big deal. That looks good. That's a sweet looking structure. Side note, look at how many different ocean ruins there are in the game. That's actually kind of crazy. Villages. Villages are going to be a little bit tricky here because there are so many different types of village. I feel that every single type of village needs some representation. Also, every type of villager needs a little bit of representation too. Did I do that right? Easy, easy. It was a typo. It's all fixed now. We can put it right here. This should be good spacing. Yeah, that's perfect spacing. And look it, it kind of matches the outpost. I kind of hate to do it because there's water everywhere, but we need to use this corner up. I have a solution though. The Savannah Village. Nobody wants to see this thing anyway, and I think they're on stilts. Okay, yeah, that's on stilts for sure. The Fisher Cottage. Perfect spot for it. Right behind this hill, so we don't have to see it too much. The Snowy Village. I think this is a Snowy Tundra. I'm not too sure, but Snowy Temple? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Snowy Tundra. The Tundra Villages. That temple's a nice-looking temple. Different type of villager house every single time. Next, we're to the library, and this thing is massive. That's, like, way too big. Hold on, hold on. Maybe we could, like, rotate it. It would be 270. It would be 270. Yeah, we could rotate it that way and then move it in a little bit, like right in there. That's going to be good. It's only going to take a little bit of rocks out. Okay, cool. We'll put the library right there next to the outpost. Sorry, library. I don't know why this one reminds me of like those old village houses like in here. Like, I guess it's because of the blocks, but yeah, pure nostalgia. This is the trickiest one of them all so far. The desert one. The desert house. So, is this... No, I don't think the sand will fall because it would be on the ground. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Um... We're kind of good. The desert armor. Cool. Village biomes. We're good. We have every biome in now. However, there's one type of village that we don't have in yet until now. This, oh, it literally just looks like a plain one. Uh, it was meant to be a zombie village house. So that's for the zombie village. The ruined portal. I have the perfect spot for the ruined portal. However, it is too large. We will turn it this way, and then we will move it back towards the water. We're going to go for one of the giant ruin portals. That's the only way we could do it. Giant ruin portal will sit right here. Oh, that's giant. That's giant and ruined. Look at it. It's literally bigger than the village house. Uh, what? Oh, we're making good progress. So good progress. We have this much space left, and there are only like two more structure files that I have to go through in the folder, and then we go to the problem ones. End city. There's only one option. There's only one thing we could do with the end city. And of course, that's going to be the ship. But I guess the ship is going to be massive. So we're going to put the ship here. Raise it up a little bit. Is that good? Uh, it's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's good. That's good. That's a big ship. I guess I never realized that. All right. So far, so good. But this next one is kind of big. I, I didn't really think about it. Maybe we could put it in here. Hopefully, it won't take up, like, too much space. We're going to have to find, like, a smaller piece of it. Bastion. How are we going to put the Bastion in here? Bastions. Bastions are big. Uh, the treasure Bastion is the best. How about House 1? Not available. Huh? All right, we try a different one. How about Hogland Stable? The Hogland Stable, it has been prepared. Okay, it looks like we have fit Hogland Stable right there. Perfect. That counts for all bastions right there. And because this was called Small Stable, there's only one option that we can do. We'll load a second one. This is outer number one. It's actually a different structure if you look closely. That's for all the bastions. All right, that's looking pretty good so far. However, there are going to be some structures that actually don't have structure files for whatever reason. One of those is going to be the Swamp Hut. Which means somehow I'm going to need to figure out how to use the structure block, place it down, get it into... I think what we want to get it into is save mode, and then save the structure somehow, and then re-put it under the ground. Okay, I'm making progress. I have it in save mode. I name the structure that. Then I think all I need to do is put the, like the Y block amount. So let's say probably like eight blocks. I feel like it goes like eight blocks and then eight blocks that way. And then I guess one there is that... No, that, that moved it. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. I figured it out. It was in load mode still, actually. So how about this? Eight, eight, eight. All eights. Okay. That could actually be good. That could actually be pretty good. All we need to do is move it down and then make it a little bit longer. That's not a problem. Ten. Ten is the number. We go ten blocks out like that. There we go. We have the swamp hut. Uh, saved. It worked. Desert pyramid is the next one. The desert pyramid is going to be a little bit trickier to do here because... Well, this one is inside of a cliff, so I think we need to go really far and try and find another one. Here's another desert thing, but it's buried again. Ah, yes, the perfect one, the perfect one. This desert temple, this works exactly perfectly. Okay, all I need to do is 
No. No. Okay. Gotta find a different one. It's not as good. It's partially buried, but I can easily unbury just this little bit right here. This is gonna have to work. That this will this will do. Got it. Here's the next one that I need. I'm back now. Now I have all the structures that I need. I don't know if this is gonna work. I have no clue if this is actually going to fit in here. The first one is the well. That's an easy one, okay? Desert well, that fits for sure. The next one, though, is going to be nowhere near as easy. So this is going to be a big one. We definitely need to start by, by rotating it. Let's say maybe we turn it, I don't know, I, I feel like 180, like going out that way. That would probably be good. This is a good spot for it. Please work. Oh, you work, you work, you work. Desert temple right there. So there's the desert temple. It fits in the cave. Uh, it, it's a little close, but it fits. All right, maybe we can do this. We might be able to fit this next one in here. So let's flip this over to load mode. Let's have it go the same way as that. So it's like out into here, filling up this spot. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. It still works. If we move it over like this, it still fits in here. It's very close to the other ones, but here we go. Load. Uh-huh. Juggle temple. Look at that. It looks good. So we're down to the two final structures. The Woodland Mansion is going to be the first one. The entrance bit. I think for the Woodland Mansion, to represent it, we can put a piece of it in. So that's gonna be like the entrance piece that you walk up, you, you like see it, yeah, when you walk in and then, okay, so it's a little unclear on the last bit why I did that like that. What do the mansions generate as basically a bunch of different structures, kind of like a village. So all the rooms kind of like pieced together. It would be pretty difficult to actually go and generate an actual woodland mansion so that's why I just did the entrance. I know, it doesn't exactly get the picture. Woodland mansions are obviously way bigger. It's never gonna fit in the cave. However, surprisingly, this next one, it's actually doable. I didn't think it would be doable. We're working on a little bit of a technicality here because this monument right here, uh, technically speaking, it's not the whole monument. So the monument, what's wrong with it? What, what do you mean it's not the whole thing? Well, it's a lot of it. it it's a really solid chunk of it. However, this side it got cut off by like four, maybe five six blocks same with the other side uh it kind of just ends over here it looks like we actually completely ruined the cave over there so that didn't fit command blocks have a limit the limit is 48 blocks you see i could have cut the ocean monument up into four separate structures i definitely could have however for some unknown reason that i can't talk about i didn't do it that way so what i'm saying is you have to imagine this thing as being a little bit bigger so this thing technically does not fit and then wanting to put like a whole woodland mansion in here too oh no way it's not gonna happen no, no, how could I do it? How could I do it? I wouldn't. I, I can't believe I almost forgot. I literally almost ended the video without one more structure. There is another one that we need to get in here. Uh, it's going to be the Swamp Hut. There we go, the Swamp Hut. With the addition of the Swamp Hut, we can finally say for certain that definitely not. All of Minecraft structures cannot fit in the new caves. It doesn't matter how big they are. There's no way a Woodland Mansion is fitting inside of one of these things. I seriously thought maybe, like, maybe a Woodland Mansion could fit inside of one of these things, but I forgot how big they are. These things are gigantic. It's like essentially 100 by 100 blocks. I don't know what I was thinking. However, let's cut the Woodland Mansion out. Goodbye. If we forget about the Woodland Mansion, then everything actually changes, and the answer would be yes. Without that chunk of the Woodland Mansion over there, I move the monument in a little bit more. All we would really need here is eight blocks, and yep, eight blocks right here. The answer, if the cave is big enough and you just cut out the Woodland Mansion, like ignore it completely, every single Minecraft structure can definitely fit inside of the new caves. This is 230 right here, technically just outside of the cave. If we move down this way, then surprisingly, we're actually going to have about 100 blocks. And same with the other direction, we could easily fit 100 blocks in there. We would end up cutting away parts of the cave, but instead of all these structures, I think we could actually put a Woodland Mansion inside of the cave. Thank you for watching today's experiment. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking for more content, check the description. I've got my TikTok, my Instagram, my Twitter. Check them out. Ninth Ant Noodle Pork Monkey Boy Chuck, the elitist of gamers. Thank you. It's been me, your boy Waddles, inside of the insanely rare, so lucky structure cave. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.